Here's the field for the eighth. One full time Sam owned by Tim Johnston, driven by Brad Hanners. Two bread box owned by Clarence and Rhonda Gillum with Ralph Leo Grande. Three is too much monkey business owned by Roy Murphy and Larry King with Ron Carbone. Four Harold Leader owned by Bob Griffith. Hugh Beatty will be aboard. Five is Native Dragon owned by the Bay Racing Stable. Randy Tharps in the bike six King of the Blues. Owned by Richard Van Meter, Randy Owens, Mel Riviello, and B.B. King. Dave Miller will be in the bike. Seven is Polaris Parkway, owned by Florence Lenahan, driven by Dan Ader. Eight is No Doubter, owned by Jim Arledge and George Smith with Del S. Miller. Number nine is Hercules Sabra, owned by Jerome Grogan. Jeff Fout will be in the sulky. Field for the eighth. They'll reach the gate in just five minutes. Field Freight is at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Hercules Saber never got anywhere near the gate. He's 10 from the front when they said go and full time Sam gets the lead. Native Dragon drives up on the outside, second, Bread Box is third. The Gray is fourth, too much monkey business, they're underway to the quarter mile pole. Harold Lee to the favorite, King of the Blues, Gap of Two, Polaris Parkway, No Doubter, and Hercules Sabra. But here comes some action from mid pack. Driving up on the outside, Bread Box for Ralph Leo Grande is underway by the opening quarter, 28 and two, a moderate pace for these guys. They're two deep, three deep now past the stands. Here comes Too Much Monkey Business up on the outside to get the lead. Too Much Monkey Business drives away on top. Red Box is now loafing around in second. Around the clubhouse turn, full-time Sam fourth. Native Dragon is fifth. King of the Blues comes to the outside. Harold Leader got shuffled back toward the rail. In between horses, Polaris Parkway. No doubter on the inside. Hercules Saber moves up on the outside, and they're at the half, 56-3. They're out of the turn and down the backstretch. Too much monkey business has just opened up three lengths of daylight. Red Box is back on the attack second. Full time Sam third. Native Dragon drives up on the outside. Ready for a three deep power sweep. King of the Blues. They're rolling in the three quarters. Too much monkey business continues to lead the way. Three quarters stepped off in 125 and one. They're getting serious now. Four horses gang up for the lead. Too much monkey business. Bread box along the pylons. In between horses, full time Sam. King of the Blues has got some work to do, and Dave Miller's driving him. Widest of all to the far outside. King of the Blues. Too much monkey business. Bread box is on the rail. Here comes King of the Blues to get the lead. Eighth race, six King of the Blues. Five-year-old Brown Gelding by Albatross out of Trini Hanover. Owned by Richard Van Meter, Randy Owens, and Mel Riviello. Trained by Randy Owens. Driven tonight by David Miller. Covering the mile here in 155. Number six, King of the Blues, the unofficial winner. And folks, that's back-to-back -back wins for Rich Van Meter, Randy Owens, and Mel Riviello. But uh, full brothers are both by Albatross out of the same air. A four-year-old in race seven. His older brother scores here in the eighth, and that's kind of an oddity. Full brothers win back-to-back -back races. Exact the returns, $23 even. The trifecta, $72 even. The dollar box, $36 even. That's a four-bagger. That's the hat trick plus one for David Miller. Next post, $10.31. Top down, full time Sam third, bread box second, too much monkey business fourth, Harold Leader sixth, Native Dragon eighth, King of the Blues the winner, Polaris Parkway fifth, no doubter seventh, Hercules Sabra was ninth.